some of that learning around you know our reliance on fossil fuel energy to basically drive our not only our um, food production system but the whole global economy and um, you know just supply and demand well I thought this was becoming an issue you know 2007 2008 um, and and talking about it then but um, I guess that's when America got into fracking and and so they've managed to push out that peak oil discussion for at least another decade and um, so just the understanding that you know the solutions to so many of these environmental economic challenges is um, going to require a localization of our economies and building resilience um, into our lives and into our local communities and economies and so therefore um, I think you know there is going to be a need for people to return to the land um, people are going to have to live closer to their food and be part more involved with, with growing their food because you know over the last couple of hundred years with cheap abundant fossil fuel energy you know massive cities have grown and it kind of makes sense to grow food in one part of the world and ship it around the place to to um to the cities and then take the waste away from those cities but you know if we remove that cheap abundant um, energy source then then people are going to have to get back closer to their food and um and so that sort of led me to um understanding that you know we're probably going to have to have more people living on our farm you know we're a, a 600 hectare property which basically is run by myself and, and a stock manager um joshua white who is, is working with us and you know that's a lot of land and um you know to, to be really only supporting a couple of families and then also looking at i guess traditional asian um economies and, and food production systems where you know they are producing you know 20 odd tons of food per hectare you know without relying on phosphate fertilizer coming from the other side of the world to grow that system and so we've got a lot of learning to do and a lot of opportunities to you know develop our our food production system and get get more people back on the land and and that that one around um the fertilizer was one of the big again points that sort of pushed us off the conventional road as, as you know just understanding the role that bringing in that phosphate fertilizer from morocco um plays in our pastoral agriculture in new zealand and you know while the the ownership of that phosphate is is debatable and questionable um just the energy involved and in, in getting that finite resource to our country is just not a sustainable um sort of system to to base our our food production systems and, and base you know the new zealand economy on and so you know how do we continue to grow food and, and care for the land without relying on those nutrients coming from the other side of the world